If you're interested in a quick and easy way to make plant-based milk at home, then I highly recommend the almond cow. In this video, I will unbox, set up, and go over the pros and cons of the almond cow. I will also share the three most useful plant-based milk recipes you need to know before getting started. If you enjoy videos about minimalism, purposeful living, and reviews of quality home products, please consider subscribing to this channel. After looking at the labels and doing some research, we realized that many of the nut milks we were buying had a lot of extra ingredients and very little of the actual nuts or what we believe to be the main ingredient. So this year, we decided to start making our own. Not only is making your own milk at home a great way to make sure you know exactly what you're putting into your body, but this is also an incredible way to begin a more sustainable living. Since this is named the almond cow, I'll start with the basic almond milk recipe. The almond cow comes with a minimum and maximum marked lines on the inside for the amount of water you need to add. We usually go for the minimum line because we like our milk a little creamier, but that is definitely a personal preference. The top of the almond cow is a blender part and it attaches to a filter basket which you can lock together by twisting it. For this, we simply add a cup of raw almonds, 3 pitted dates, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. You can also soak your almonds for 4 hours and use only half a cup. Soaking them helps using less nuts and the almonds break down easier when blending so your milk will be a little more creamy. You lock the filter cup into place and after less than a minute you'll have delicious almond milk. It's really that easy. The almond cow also comes with a very useful collector cup which is mainly used to hold everything upright. A pro about the almond cow is that the electric cord is removable which makes it easy to move, clean, and pour the liquids into containers. As a simple tip, run the machine twice when using almonds and you'll get creamier and frothier milk. The next recipe we usually make at home is our almond chocolate milk. This is our son's current favorite drink and it is extremely easy to make. You'll need 1 cup of raw almonds, 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 2 tablespoons of maple syrup, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. One con about the almond cow is that if you add a lot of raw hard ingredients, sometimes they don't completely blend. We typically use maple or date syrup for our milk because we've had issues with our full dates not breaking down completely and our milk not being sweet enough. Another small con is that it can be a little difficult to insert the blade into the filter cup when all the ingredients are inside. You have to just move everything around until you're able to lock it into place. You can play around with the amount of syrup and nuts you use, but this will be by far the best and most healthy chocolate milk you'll ever try. We like using really cold water or sometimes add ice to the water until it reaches that minimum line so we can drink the chocolate milk cold as soon as we make it. Be mindful that you'll need to add some ingredients directly to the water and some into the blender cup depending on the consistency because some might spill out. Once the milk is done, mix it pretty well to make sure everything is incorporated. You can store any of these milks from 3 to 5 days in the refrigerator, but I guarantee that something as tasty as a chocolate milk will be gone way before that. Make sure to look up some recipes online or their website for ideas of what you can do with the almond pulp. You can get pretty creative with it or try a simple cookie recipe. The last recipe and the one that we make the most is oat milk. While almond milk is delicious, oat milk tends to be way creamier, making it perfect for our morning coffee. You also don't get any of the fine grainy texture you sometimes can get with the raw almonds. The filter cup comes with half a cup and one cup lines. To make oat milk, we simply fill the container up to the one cup line, add about a tablespoon of date syrup and a small pinch of salt. We personally use whole grain old fashioned oats. While it is recommended to soak almonds, I really don't recommend soaking or over blending the oats. They get extremely slimy and the milk just doesn't taste very good. Another pro about this machine is that it's not very loud. To blend, you simply press on the cow button at the top and it will do 3 short cycles of blending with some off time in between. The top green light flashes while the machine is working and it will be solid green once it's done. A last big pro about the almond cow is that you can actually use it for many things other than just milk, like soups and tea. You can also add ingredients like coconut water, coffee, and other liquids instead of just water to make some amazing recipes. I personally like to save the oat pulp for a snack or breakfast the next morning. I heat it up in the microwave, add some fresh fruit and maple syrup, and it is incredibly delicious. 
Cleaning the almond cow is also really easy. You just need to rinse all the parts immediately after using it and you're all set. Just make sure you completely dry the stainless steel or it will start to stain after some time. I highly recommend getting an almond cow. The amount of recipes you can make with it is insane. Plus you don't have to do any straining like with other time consuming methods out there. It is on the pricey side, but if you only drink plant-based milks, you'll be saving yourself money in the long run. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.